Stacy here. Today we are going to do a quick tutorial to learn how to make a quick and easy number line in PowerPoint um, that you can use in any of your uh, resources for students. So I started by opening a PowerPoint and I don't need these so I just select all and delete and you could if you wanted to make your number lines in the resource that you are creating, you could adjust your page size. I'm just going to use this to create the number line and then you could, uh, I'll show you how to save it as an image if you want to just like keep several of them. So we're going to start with um, inserting a shape and we're going to do just the, you know, line with the arrows. If you are slightly off on your line, making it horizontal, you'll want to make it horizontal or vertical if you're working with that. You can adjust the height and the width um, here, making sure that one of them is zero. Then play with the colors. Um, I'm gonna do black. I'm gonna make it a little weightier so it's easier for me to see. But this is all personal preference and depending on what you are creating it for, I'm going to adjust the end arrows. Um, but again, those are all just personal preferences and you can do what you prefer. Then I'm going to insert the tick marks and I'm just going to choose the non arrowed line and just make a little arrow. I'll go ahead and make that 0.3 inches. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to make it a little weightier, but not quite as heavy as the line. And then I'm going to adjust it up. And I'll actually align these so that they are, um, I know that that tick mark is centered in the middle on the number line. So then from there, I just need more of these. And the easiest way is to just control C and then control V as many times as you need, getting as many tick marks as you need. I'm just going to do a random amount. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to set its horizontal distance here about that far away from the arrow just to give myself some space and know where I'm going to align. Then I'm going to select all of these. Notice I put this one down a little lower because I want this one to be the highest. So when I align them to the top, they are all aligned with this one that I had already preset the um, height for. Then I'm going to distribute them horizontally and they are all perfectly distributed the same distance between each one, uh, between this, fir this first tick mark and this second tick mark that I put over here on the far right side. And so there you have a number line. If you want to group them all together so you can move them all together, that is a great way to do it. Just select all and control G. If you want to shrink or um, expand the size of the number line, you would want to come over to size and then on under format shape, you would want to lock the aspect ratio so that you can go shrink or expand um, with the number line and it keeps the um, ratio of the spacing. And so yeah, now let's put some numbers on here. I found the easiest way to do this is to get a table inserted. Um, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I didn't pay attention. So now I'm going to insert a table with 16 columns and one row. Looks like that for now. I'm going to just make it look like this temporarily. And I want to align it with my tick marks. Right now it doesn't. Um, let's see here if I can shrink it so that I can get these lined up. Still not quite. We're getting there. 
happens to be a little wider. And I can also do this with the um, sizing, the layout. I can adjust the height and width. And I actually think I might do that just to get it a little. Yeah, that looks better. Now I want to make sure that the numbers that I type in are going to be um, centered in the box. So now let's just type them in. You can start with whatever numbers you need. Let's see. <laughs> Negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can adjust the font of your choice. You can adjust the size if you want it to be big or small. Um, with it being centered in the table box, it will pretty much stay centered under the tick mark. But I don't want that box there, so then I would just go back up to the table design and borders and choose no borders. And now I've got a beautiful number line. If you want to create several of these and then have them saved as images where you can just have them ready to go anytime you're creating like a worksheet or an activity or task cards or whatever for your students, you could highlight all and then right click on the uh, group of them and click save as picture and save it as an image onto your computer or your drive and um, use them as images from your app. Hope this is helpful. Um, have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.